Hi, this is the third session of Magic Mathematics. In last two sessions, we have studied about the quadratic equations and progressions. In this, we discuss the trigonometric problems, which can be solved in an unusual way. Let's have a look to the few problems. We'll discuss the problem trigonometric equations. Trigonometric expression this given has the value of what? So, it's on simplification, we have to find the value. Sometimes problems comes if p is this 1 upon 1 minus sin x upon 1 plus sin x q is this and r is this. Just following is correct statement. So you need to solve the p q r and somehow to get into a single relationship where you can find the p is equal to q or, or it's equal to p. Sometimes problems comes out so sin theta plus cos theta is 2 then the value of sin is to power 8 theta plus cos x to power 8 is the value what? So it's sometimes again it makes you difficult. Now. It's can be like cos 2 theta plus pi minus 4 cos theta plus pi into sin theta sin pi plus 2 sin square pi is what? Now whenever the value of pi comes, uh, we are, <laughs> whenever the value of pi comes, it makes more complicated because sometimes we are not able to solve the value of theta. In fact, it's here the value of pi also there. I, I, I'll show you how easily, how easily you will solve this problem. Sometimes there is a problem, it's very long complicated under the b minus a upon a sin to theta a plus b 10 square theta and some blah blah blah. So, so we'll see how easily we'll solve this problem. If you can come across a problem like this, where you, there'll be a, some trigonometric equation with the variable k and you have to find the value k here. Sometimes you get the equation like 10 alpha is something of this, beta is this and gamma is in the value of alpha plus beta in terms of gamma. Now, this kind of problem seriously took a long time. So there should be a proper way to solve this problem. So if we solve it by the usual way, it took around uh, two or three minutes and it's a complete environment. We know how to solve the problem in a short time. So this is the IHJ problem. I hope you know about that. It's comes in 2001. I'll show you how to solve it by the unusual way and getting the answer in a few seconds. Now first come start with the first problem. I hope you have not down. You not not down the problems. Pause the video and not down the problems and try to solve it to your own. And I'll show you the unusual way or a better way to solve them. the expression 1 minus 10 is like a 1 minus cot a plus cos a a has the value what? So if it's not necessary to solve because we have the options theta v 45 degree. Therefore 10 a is that is 10 45 is 1 sec 45 is that is sec a is root 2. Now put the value here cot a is 1 and cos a is put the value here 1 minus 10 1 minus 10 a is 1 cos a is root 2 1 minus 1 plus cos a is root 2. now 1 minus 1 is 0 root 2 into 1 minus 1 is 0 it comes out to be root 2 into root 2 that is 2 that's it that's we got the answer but if we solve in the usual way to more time in the examination the main thing is to get the answer the correct answer more trigonometric equation cos square theta sec theta minus 1 1 plus sin theta sec square theta sin theta minus 1 1 now again it's very important how you assume the value here you can't assume the value here like 1 plus sin theta becomes 0 or 1 plus sec theta becomes 0 so assume the appropriate value over here we can assume the value that be theta be um, 45 degree let theta be similarly 45 degree if I put the value of theta as 45 degree over here, I'll easily get the answer. 45 degree means cot square theta is 1, let the value 1, sec theta is root 2 minus 1 upon 1 plus root 2 plus sec square theta is root 2 square, sin theta is 1 upon root 2 minus 1 upon 1 plus root 2. Here is 1 upon root 2. Now, if I simplify this value, let me simplify this value here is. 1 into root 2 minus 1 upon 1 plus root 2 that is root 2 plus 1 plus 2 power root 2 and root 2 square minus 1. If I simplify this value, I'll get the value and get the value as 0. So 0 will be the answer. As simple as that. Next problem. If P is 1 minus sin x upon 1 plus sin x, Q is 1 minus sin x plus equal to R equal to cos x upon 1 plus sin x. Which is following statement is correct. Now, if I say x P 0 degree, if I put the value as x is 0 degree, this means 1 minus sin x is 0, means 1 minus 0 upon 1 plus 0, this is p. q will become 1 minus 1 upon cos 0 is 1, and r is c cos 0 is 1 upon 1 plus 0, that is, this is 1 minus 0. Now, I have to put value 0 here, because 1 plus sin x is 1 here, and cos 0 is 1. So, it's very important how to assume the value. You cannot put theta is 90 degree here. If you put 90 degree here, this will become 
zero and denominator cannot be zero. If you put the 45 degree, you can get the answer, but that will make it complicated. So this will be the better option. I got the values P S one, Q S one, and R S one. So all the values are equal. There is only one option which shows that all the values are equal. P equal to Q equal to R. Because if for the one value it satisfies for each and every value. So I put the one value and got get the next. If sine theta plus cosec theta is two, then the value of sine is what eight theta plus cosec eight theta will have. If sine theta plus cosec theta has a value one, therefore I can say theta is ninety degree. So it's sine ninety is one, cosec ninety is one. This is two. If theta is ninety degree, let me put the value here. Theta is ninety degree. That is sine eight plus theta means one plus two power eight plus one plus two power eight. One plus two power eight is one. One plus two power eight is one. The answer is two only. Again, a simpler way to solve the problem. Now, let's come to the difficult one. Cos two theta plus phi minus four cos theta plus phi into sine theta sine phi is equal to two sine square phi plus two sine square phi. Its value is what? Now, you try to solve this problem. It will take a um, much more time, approximately two to three minutes. Now, see here how to solve it in fraction of seconds. Now, if I put the value because the answer that is independent of top phi. So I can put any value of pi here. Let me put the pi as zero. If I put the pi is zero, it becomes first term become cos two theta plus pi zero minus four cos theta plus pi that is cos theta into sine theta into sine pi is zero. This value now minus four cos theta sine theta into zero. This term become zero. I left with the cos two theta is what is cos two theta is cos two theta. Answer is a. A simple answer. If f theta is under root of b minus a sine two theta a plus b ten square theta under root of b minus a under root of one plus b minus a a sine theta square find the value of theta is f theta when theta is three by four. Now try to solve this problem. If, if I go by the usual way, it took around a, a solution of a page and approximately five minutes. Now if I the, this is objective, if I say b is two and a is why I'm putting this value because it's easy. It will easier my calculation because b is one and a b is two and a is one become under root of one under root of one is one here. Again b is two and a is one upon a again this is now if I put this value I'll get this value as one this value as one and this value as again one. Now I left with sine two theta under root of one plus two times square theta upon under root of one plus sine theta whole square right now. I need to find the value of theta, and theta is 3 pi by 4. That is 135 degree. If I put the value here is, if I put the value theta 135 degree to sine 270 under root of 1 plus 2 times square 135 degree upon under root of 1 plus sine of 135 degree and whole square. Now if I put the value here is sine 270 degrees minus root 2 times 135 degrees 1 sine 135 degrees minus root. Next sine 135 is plus root 2. If I put the value over here, where let me put the value. If I try to find. If I put the value here, I'll get the answer as minus root 2. The word answer is C. Again, simpler one. The next problem. Cos theta plus sine theta plus k sine cos theta sine theta is one. Then value k is one. It's given cos theta plus sine theta whole square plus k cos theta. And I don't know what to put the value over here. So, if you or whatever value I put over here does not match. If I put the value theta zero, again this expression become zero. If I put theta zero, it makes this expression zero. We will not able to find the value of k. If I put theta is 90 degree, again this expression zero. We will not able to find the value. Let's take the value as middle. Theta is 45 degree. If I put theta 45 degree, cos theta is 1 upon root 2 plus 1 upon sine theta is again 1 upon root 2 whole square plus k cos theta is 1 upon root 2 sine theta is 1 upon root 2. Is equal to one, right? One plus one upon root two plus one upon root two is root two, and root two square is two plus k upon two is one. In the cubic of k here, k upon two is one minus two, that is minus one, and k is minus two. I get the value as minus two. For any value of the theta, because our answer is independent of theta for all all value of theta, it could be the minus two. Therefore, for whatever degree, it should be also a minus two. If I solve this problem, tan x alpha is x one upon x square plus x plus one, and beta is x upon under root of x square plus x plus one, and then gamma is this. Find the find the value alpha beta in terms of gamma. Now, again, by the same way, 
if I solve it, I can solve it. If it could have been subjective problem, now it's objective problem. Now if I put the value x1, let's see what happened. Tan alpha become 1 upon 1 plus 1 square plus 1 plus 1, which is that is root 3. And tan beta is 1 plus 1 plus 1 is that is. Now alpha and beta, I got the value here. 10 comma similarly, I got under root of 1 plus 1 plus 1 is. Now, can I say that alpha here is 30 degree and beta here is 30 degree? Yes, I know there can be and many values. Let's take one value and gamma here is 60 degree. Can I say alpha plus beta that is 30 plus 30 is 60 degree? Yes, I can say that. The answer is A. Let's come to the next problem. This is a problem that is alpha, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha and is placed between 0 and 5 by 2. Alpha and alpha 1, and alpha 2, alpha 2, up to alpha minus 1. Find the value of this expression. It never says that alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha and are equal or not equal. It doesn't comment about this. I can say that let's be alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 equal to alpha 3 and so on equal to alpha. Y. Let's be a 45 degree because the line will be 0 at 5 by 2, that is 5 by 4. Now, if I say alpha 1, alpha 2 is 45 degree, it satisfies this, this also because 1045, 1045, 1045 is 1. So it becomes 1045, 1045 up to n times. Obviously, the value is 1. Now, if I put the value here, cos alpha 1, cos alpha 2, cos alpha 3, cos alpha, that is 1 upon root 2 into 1 upon root 2 into 1 upon root 2 up to n times is what? 1 upon root 2 raised to power n, that is root 2 raised to power minus n or 2 raised to power minus n by 2. Hence, this was the answer. If come to the objective, we can solve this very easily. Thank you. Thanks a lot.